Right, folks, I am just doing a quick review. I'm waiting on a bottle of uh, Conor McGregor Proper 12 to turn up. And as soon as that gets in, I am going off to see Unky Steve to do a review with him. So I'm on the tablet. Um, camera's over there, packed up, waiting to go. And uh, before I start this review, um, I've got a shout out. And um, what it is, I work with a lad called Chris Snodding. And um, apparently he was sitting at home the other night or the other day and um, he could hear my voice in another room. And uh, he thought, what the bloody hell's he doing there? And uh, went in and apparently uh, his daughter was watching Blue Van Man on a tablet. So uh, Chris obviously said, what are you watching him for? And they said something like, he's quite good. He's entertaining. Well, I'm glad I'm here for your entertainment. And uh, this goes out to Chloe and Charlie Snodding. Thank you for the support. And uh, watching my channel, my ever-growing channel. Um, Chris was on nights last night with me. And um, he, uh, he looked a bit tired. I don't think he had much kip. Uh, because, because what happens? Anybody who works on nights will know that... Uh, you don't really get a lot of sleep as such during the night uh, during the day. Um, some lads at work get more at uh, at work at night than they do during the day. And um, apparently, it's it's one of them things where this is in our household where um, the ginger child will be in the house uh, just going about the normal stuff, clomping around as they do, and then all of a sudden. The actual child hasn't woken you up. You seem to eliminate that kind of noise. You get, you can, you, you eliminate it. For some reason, you can just do it. But then all of a sudden, you'll hear the wife shouting, will you shut up and stop making a noise? You'll wake your father up. And you feel like getting out of the bedroom and going, you are the one that's woken me up with your big gob. Now, I don't know how many people, how many blokes or how many women uh, who work nights can relate to that. Um, if you can relate to that, the actual somebody telling somebody to shut up and keep the noise down or she'll wake your dad up or she'll wake your mum up, uh, just leave comments and see how true it is. Let's see if I can find out how true it is that the actual person telling the other person to shut up to keep quiet makes more noise than the other ones. Anyway, on the way to work last night, to uh, Charlie and Chloe, um, I stopped off at Cost Cutters and um, I picked some sweets up. The Japanese sweets, they're called Michihai. Mi, Mich, Mich, Michai. Oh, hold on, it's upside down. Haichu. Haichu. There you go. Hi Chem. Hi Chem. That's. I never could read Japanese. It was one of them subjects at school I just didn't really take to. Anyway, they cost me the grand total of £1 a packet. Uh, there was a couple of other packets there. Uh, I have picked up uh, cherry and strawberry. So I thought, as I was doing a shout-out for the uh, kids, this might be appropriate that I do sweets. There was other ones there. There were pineapple and something else. Well, I'm not really a fan of pineapple. It's quite funny, really, because I don't like pineapple, but I like lilt. Uh, so I can't work that out. I like lilt, but I don't like pineapple. Um, I, I just can't. I can't understand. It's the devil's fruit in my book, the pineapple. It's the devil's fruit. And there was another one. So I didn't like the other one, so I didn't pick them up. I thought it would be a waste of a pound. So what I'm going to do, folks, um, it's, uh, it's just a normal chewy sweet, I think. It's got uh, writing in foreign. And it's got glucose syrup, sugar, hydrated palm kernel, kennel, oil, pork uh, gelatin. So you can't eat this if, you, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. Uh, you can't eat this because it's got pork fat in it. And uh, I may sure wonder how many kids out there eat jelly and they don't realise that it's actually uh, from a pig. You know, it's fat. Um, you know, well, now you know, kids. There you go. You've had a bit of bit of an education from uh, Uncle uh, Uncle Blue Van Man. Right then, how do you get in this damn thing? It says open here. There's like a little. There we go. 
there you go. It's one of those lot where you rip it and it's got a bit of red tape. So uh, excuse the camera going in and out. I have been using the other one, but uh, for this, I'm just waiting for that thing to turn up. And as soon as it turns up, I have gone. So how many is in a packet? And uh, it don't say how many is in the packet. Just hide you. So hide you. Bless you. So that's what it looks like, folks. It looks like, uh, for the visually impaired amongst us, um, people seem to doubt that there is the visually impaired amongst us. Um, when people do uh, write a comment that say, now do the visually impaired see this, and how do they read the messages, and I bet you've got, right, just go back and look at the videos with Uncle Steve and Auntie Sue, and they will tell you, Uncle Steve will tell you what happens. You know, don't just assume, you know, that, they can't do things. The visually impaired can't do things. They've got through to 2019 by doing things. I mean, who was the bloke who were blind in the Labour Party? It was the uh, Home Secretary. You know, he had a dog. He had an affair, didn't he? Can't remember his name. So don't, don't just assume. Go look and, you know, open your bloody mind a bit. So there's a suite. It's about... Uh, 25 mil long and 10 mil wide, 10 mil square kind of thing. That's just a rough estimate. It's probably the size of well, my little finger is a bit bigger, but for the most normal person, it's about the size of your the first knuckle on your little finger. Um, it's white, uh, clear kind of thing, and you can see a pinkness running through it. Oh, um, is it chewing gum or chewing sweet? That's quite nice. Fruit can there. High chew. Cherry, it's from a company called More Morin Morana. Morana it says it there. Look. You can't see it, can you? I am so glad I got that new camera because that new camera does absolutely now I'm working it out. It is absolutely brilliant. And it makes such a difference. So sometimes it's nice just to go back to the old uh, ways to to show how good it is. I may look a bit explaining that now, if I can put it. Sun's going in and out. When you first chill into that, you're actually thinking, is it a sweet? Because it's rather chewy. I suppose the clues in the title. It's a bit like a chewy, only softer. There's a there's a taste, there's a flavouring of cherry. Um not an overwhelming taste of cherry, but it's all right. I quite like them. They're nice. If you see them, kids, I'm I'm impressed with them. Right, we're moving on to the uh, sensationally chewy fruit candy strawberry flavour. Um, I forgot to take in a picture of the uh, thing for the uh, thumbnail. I didn't realise you could do that. Take a picture of the thumbnail. Take a picture and then use it as your thumbnail. So I've now got the uh, strawberry one in my mop, in my got. Working it around. It's really chewy. I don't think I've ever known a chewier sweet in my life. I'll have one more. Yeah, they're all right. I think uh, chew it and uh, opal fruits, not star drops, or whatever they're called. 
opal fruits are better. I think if you come in a shop, you wanted a chewy flavoured sweet, fruity sweet, I think I'd go Starburst, that's it, Star Drops is bloody cleaning stuff in it that we've got under the sink. Um, God. Yeah, I think um, if you go into a shop and you um, you want some chew its things, um, these are nice. These are these are nice to be fair. They're a different kind of chewy sweet. Um, I can imagine this is what the uh, this is the kind of stuff the Japanese eat quite a lot of. Um, I personally would go for opal fruits or starburst or chew it. These are nice. They're not very strong in flavour. It's it's like when you have one of those uh, ice poles and uh, the first bit of it's all right and then it just fades away to ice and it and water and that, that, there's no flavour in it. It's like them. Um, there's not that much flavour in these, but I think kids might like them. I, can't, I, don't, uh, I don't blame them for trying them. So give them a go, folks, and you make your mind up. You don't need me to tell you, do you? All right, folks, laters. Right, where's the switch button off? Oh, it's there. Laters.